Finger Puppet Management Final Presentation for the Kite Group. The setting is a factory in Middlefort, Denmark. Briar Plastics is a mold injection factory that makes custom parts for companies and varied industries such as tractor companies, tanning bedding companies, cotton candy machine companies, and many more. The company meets several ISO, but it also discriminates, and that has resulted in low morale, lower productivity, and lesser safety standards. The goal of this project is to highlight the problem of discrimination in the workplace while also showing that it can be fixed with efficient management concepts. Bill is a male in his 40s with low conceptual management skills. He has graying hair, white skin, wears brown pants, a white long sleeve shirt and work boots. He is divorced, smokes, and sometimes drinks in his lunch break in his car. When asked if he had ever been to the beach, he responds by saying that he, quote, doesn't need to see the ocean because he has a big lake in his town, and that is enough. Javier is an immigrant from Central America. He left his country because he was not able to make enough money there to support his disabled daughter. He misses his daughter and family and has plans to return home permanently to live with her after he makes some money in the factory. Myron is an African-American employee who has started taking classes at a local community college at night. He is supporting himself by working at the factory during the day. Rachel is a receptionist who works in the front office and notices the discrimination. Alexander is an immigrant from Romania. He is only allowed to work in a closed-in silk screen room spray painting products. The company provides him a mask, but it is not the best quality and he breathes in dangerous materials every day. Alexander has two children in college that he is trying to support. Mike is the HR manager in his 40s. He has high conceptual management skills, uses moral rights approach, and justice approaches to solve issues. On episode two, we present concepts such as individual decision-making, moral rights approach, and justice approach. Rachel cannot stand Bill's attitude anymore and uses her moral rights approach to report the discrimination. She focuses on the examination of moral standing of actions independent of their consequences. On episode six, we talk about the differences between groups and teams. Bill is increasing his knowledge and managing other people. He is willing to turn his group into a team by showing his subordinates the importance of the degree of interdependence, coordinated interaction, and strong sense of members' personal responsibility for achieving specific group outcomes. Working on the TV show has opened the Kite Group's eyes into the world of management. We have constructed an entire show dedicated to fixing the issues of discrimination in the workforce. Through our methods used in our TV show, we show our viewers certain challenges that can arise in the workplace and methods one can use to fix the injustice. Management is known to be a process that involves planning, making decisions, and evaluating results. Someone with well-developed management concepts can definitely impact organization goals. If we had to define management in three words, we would say that it is a complex updating process. A manager needs to have a strong grasp of management concepts to be successful. When faced with challenges, they need to know how to react in a timely manner. Our characters exemplify some of the most important skills used by managers on a day-to-day -day basis. The future of management is right around the corner. In the next 10 years, we'll start to see technology being deeply embedded in every aspect of every business. With the development of smart computers and AI, jobs will evolve in the common workforce and a new era will begin. We are excited to see what awaits us. When we first met, our group learned that in order to communicate in a timely manner, we needed to start texting each other rather than using Canvas. Since then, 
Our group has made deadlines and worked as a team to produce a TV show to the best of our capabilities. Creating a TV show does have its difficulties too. Creating character, plot, storylines are tough when you have five people's inputs to take into account. However, through our teamwork, we were able to delegate certain jobs on the creation of the TV show to better utilize every group member's time and effort. The experience given to us by Professor Diasio and learning by group work is greatly appreciated and it's much easier to understand than simply learning straight from the text. All around, our experience in management has been a success and the Kite Group looks to implement the management techniques that we have learned here into their own workplace. We have several recommendations for future students working in a semester-long project in a virtual group. Don't assume that everyone else is going to do the work for you. Trade phone numbers and call or text the group regularly to keep in contact. Be respectful to everyone in the group. Establish a group leader that can assign certain tasks to each group member to clarify the overall objective. Get to know the other group members and their abilities as soon as possible, such as writing, illustration, creativity, and PowerPoint skills. When I first started this course, I thought it was going to be much easier than it actually was. I looked at the syllabus and saw one project, one exam, said to myself, this is going to be easy. But then I began to work on the project. Milestone 1 and 2 did not go so well for the group, and that was due primarily to poor communication. But since we exchanged numbers and set up a group text, we were able to come up with everything in a timely manner. I especially enjoyed how I learned to know the management concepts through group work. Most college classes are nothing like this, and I think that the way Dr. Giasio has this class set up really promotes success and a better understanding of the content of the course. The Finger Puppet Management TV project showed me the importance of leadership, team formation, and group thinking. Missing a couple of group assignments showed me that self-management would not work for our group. Then we decided to choose a group leader, organize the work content, and communicate with each group member more efficiently. The group project also showed me the struggles of working with people you have never met before, using electronic communication tools and personal knowledge to achieve assignment goals. The Finger Puppet Management TV show is new to many of us. It encourages students to be more creative. At the beginning of the project, we faced some issues concerning communication between the group members. Eventually, we worked together and overcame these issues. We, as a group, began to do our tasks ahead of time and divided our responsibilities between us. The Finger Puppet Management TV show is not a usual assignment. It is fun, interesting, and enjoyable. Each group of students has to construct a TV show that consists of several episodes. The TV show may relate to real life events from around the world, to real TV shows that have been aired, or even better, write episodes from scratch based on imaginary, interesting, creative scenarios. Our group, the Kite Group, made our own scenario. Throughout this semester, in this management course, I was chosen to be on Team Kite. Our ride has been through its highs and lows, but overall I would have to say it was a great time working with them. I was mainly in charge of creating interesting comics to where it would reflect the chapters that we covered throughout the course. I enjoyed participating with my teammates and everyone put in their weight. If it was not for my teammates, we wouldn't have been able to complete anything on time. During the beginning of our journey, we were unclear of our roles as team members, but eventually Nito was able to take control, become the team leader, and give us individual roles. If I were to choose this class again, I would choose the same teammates. I have learned a lot from this course. The writing logs forced me to reflect on my acquired knowledge, which gave me a deeper understanding of the course material and concepts. It helped tremendously to relate the material to my past experiences in the workforce. 
the project has shown me the difficulties of working in a group, especially a virtual group. I will use this knowledge for future group projects. Here are our references. Thanks for watching.